There are two scenarios for using the Puppeteer 2023 script. Either you already have a mapping created, or you need to create a new one. However, regardless of what state you're in, you have to first set up your models. In this case, we are going to be puppeteering animations from the Team Fortress 2 Scout onto D.Va, and so we'll begin by setting them up in preparation for the puppeteering. So to begin, we will start by locking the Scout's route to D.Va, and zero him so he's directly on top. We're going to remove that lock and we're going to apply a scale because as we can tell, Scout is far larger than Diva. So we're going to scale him to about the same height as Diva. It does not need to be precise, but the closer you can get it, the easier it will be. We will now get them roughly aligned. So we'll get his pelvis about right there. And we're going to start with his legs and just get them aligned first. So this is a bit of a slow process, and you currently need to do this every time. I'm currently looking into a way to automate this, but for right now, this is sort of the best that we have. So we'll just get the feet lined, the legs lined up. His feet are rotated out. We'll go ahead and rotate them in. You don't need to get this perfect, but the closer you get it, the better the final result will be. So how much time you spend on this is directly proportional to... Uh, how much you care about your animation coming out decent. So now we'll go ahead and we'll work on the arms, which are the largest difference. In this particular case, Scout's shoulders are rather slouched, so we'll straighten them out. And then we'll rotate his arms up. Like so. And then we can see Scout's arms are bent in far more than hers, so we'll just unbend his arms a little bit. And then finally, we can see that his fingers are curled while, the, while as hers are straightened out. And so we will straighten out his fingers slightly. So we're just going to go into rotation mode local with all the fingers selected. We're just going to rotate them all to straighten them out. We will do the same on this side as well. And that is all you need to do to get the models prepared for puppeteering. So now at this point, you can either load an existing mapping or create a new mapping. Most, most cases, you'll already have created a mapping, and so we will show that first. So you go ahead and you run the puppeteer script on either model, it does not matter which. And then you will pick the model you want to pull animations from, the one you want to place them to, and then you will simply hit load mapping and you'll go to wherever you saved your mappings to. In my case, I saved them into this Puppeteer Mappings. It loads them up right here. You simply hit Apply. The constraints are now applied, and you can import your animation. And then simply disable the model that you're puppeteering from. And there is your animation puppeteer. So I'm going to undo to before we applied the constraints. Yep. And now we're going to assume that you, this is the first time setting up a particular puppeteering, and so you do not have that mapping created. In that case, it is the same starting process. You run the puppeteer script, and then you pick the model you want to take from, and the one to apply them to. And then you're going to start by selecting the pelvis bones and checking is pelvis and hit add mapping. And this will create a constraint added over here. And then you simply just match up the bones as best you can. You won't always have a one-to-one -one mapping. You may have more or less spine bones in one model than the other, in which case you're just going to have to sort of make your best guess. So the main, mo main bones you'll definitely want is spine, neck, head, and then arms and legs. You can do fingers if you want to. I tend to omit them. So I was like, this is rather clunky, but you only have to do this once per uh, skeleton type. So this will apply to any Team Fortress model onto any of my DASV 5.5 models. And there you go. I'm not going to do the map. Do the fingers. If you wanted to, you could do them as well. Now you simply come over to save. And I'm just going to save over the one that I just loaded. 
There you go. And then as before, you simply hit apply. And then you can load on your animation that you want to apply. Again, turn him off. And we'll just come over here, hammer around. And there you go. It's that straightforward. And that's using using the puppeteer tool.